this is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Guardian's Crusade. We are trying to take Baby here to the Cave of Fear, as the Elder instructed us to do. I'm continuing on the path here. I think this is the path to the cave. If not, we'll go back to the, to the road and go further along. Either way, I'm going to keep battling against the enemies here because I'm pretty sure the next area that I have to go to after this is going to be a little bit tougher. I'm going to be a one, at least a few more levels. Ideally, I'd like to be around level 10, but 8 or 9 will probably suffice. Could possibly get some different enemies around here, too. Yeah, there's a good one. I think it's just a dino. Yeah. I think I, want, I can one-shot the bone fly, I think, so... Yeah, let's get rid of him. I might not be able to... Yeah, this guy will take more than one hit. Still nothing too bad, though. And hopefully worth a little more experience. Yeah, I don't know if it's that much better than some of the weaker enemies to the point that it's worth it. I'd probably rather fight two battles against the weaker enemies and not take the damage. I don't normally keep that mini-map up in the bottom corner down there, but I kind of figure... Oh, there's the bridge that's out. I kind of figured that it'd be easier for people to follow along with where I'm at, kind of, because this game can be a little bit hard to know where you're going, necessarily. Like, I know where I'm going, but that way you can kind of see a little better. Okay, this is goodbye, little pink one. Be careful now. Oop, Link? I guess that's his language. Night. Oop, Link? Oop, Link? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know why that's all she's saying. Uh-oh, what? Isn't that what we want him to do? He went into the cave. It says, danger. Do not enter. Terrible demons live within. I suppose the mayor was thinking that it's a, a monster baby, so it should be fine with the other monsters, right? Also, you can see now that since the baby's gone, our overall party level is higher again, so some of the enemies will fear me. Okay, up to level 7. If I can just get at least one more level on the way back to town, that would be ideal. Yeah, it's still not too hard to corner these guys and run into them if you want to. What's the fairy girl have to say now? I miss the pink baby already. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to the end of the road here, or at least a little further and kind of see where it goes. Because I honestly don't really remember if it just ends in a dead end or what they do with it. Don't poison me. Yeah. That was actually worth quite a bit.
And I guess for that matter, it doesn't seem like poison lasts past the battle. So in that case, yeah, I guess I'm not as worried about it. Okay. Oh, okay, so it is a grave. Here lies Sir Darwin, the holy knight of the realm. Servant of God, rest in peace eternally. Sir Darwin, huh? Did he win the Darwin Award? No enemies close to the path here. These will probably be the really weak ones. Like those little worm guys or one of the bigger worm guys. Yeah. Easy, but not going to be worth that much. I guess money-wise, that still isn't too bad. 12 rubies. Even that last battle I fought was 19, so I mean, more than half of it. Yeah, that wasn't worth much. Back. I guess I don't remember a hundred percent, but they must be different levels, even of the same type of enemy, because or else the experience and the money they drop maybe is just variable because I saw those two monkey tail battles in a row they gave different experience and rupee amounts yeah like that one was worth nine experience and 13 rubies for just that little guy on his own hmm must just be someone random. It's probably in a range or something like that. I'd have to check a guide to see specifically on that because I don't remember. Okay, level 8. Getting a lot of candy bars too. I guess with those, that'll make it easier if I do go in a little bit lower level than I'm used to. I think we just need to go home. Or, of course you are, my dear. Little boys like adventure. Old people like me like to live in peace and quiet. Yeah. I think I can feel that. I'm almost getting old enough that I just want to be left alone, usually. <laughs> I think let's just go ahead and rest. And that should progress the game, I think, to give us the next thing to do. Good night, night. We have a little bit of a flashback here, it looks like. This is probably meant to represent our guy having a dream. I don't remember if it's going to repeat all the dialogue from the messenger here again or not. If it does, I don't think I'm going to read it. I'll just scroll through it.
Yeah, you said the same thing. If you didn't want to read it for yourself and you want to hear me say it, just go back to the previous episode. Knight, are you okay? Were you having a nightmare? Is it about that little monster? Go? Go where? You're not planning on going back for it, are you? Well, if you didn't want to, or if you didn't know what to do, you're just supposed to kind of... It's not exactly her suggestion, <laughs> but it's her telling you what your character wants to do, I guess. I'm not going to go off path too much to fight some of these guys on the way back to the cave now, but I will, if they get in my way like this, go ahead and take them out. We're getting a few psychic points and I still have no use for them yet. Thought about going after that one. If I find one over here, I probably still will, because I think there's at least another enemy type that I haven't seen over in this area. Not this guy. The only thing they could have done to make this, well, and I guess they couldn't do it, it couldn't be helped, but the only thing that would make this battle system and the fights more perfect is if you didn't have that loading time at the end of the battle where it just kind of freezes. But that's more of a matter of the PlayStation system, I suppose. Quite a bit of experience and money. That wasn't much. Huh? Two of these guys. Not a new enemy, but I don't think I've actually seen two of them together yet. Yeah, decent amount. Okay, so now we're actually going to go into the cave. Are you sure you want to go in, Knight? Looks like you're re you've really made up your mind. Well, if you're going in, then I'm going in too. Just want you to know that we're in this together. And I'll always be on your side. Always. Knight? Did you say something? I thought I heard... And eh, never mind. He's the silent protagonist. I don't think he ever says anything. Kind of like Link. It's, I mean, that's the one I draw the parallel from, partially because he has a fairy girl with him. So, same type of thing. The enemies in here, at least at first, are still running from me. But I believe there should be some different ones in here. Yeah, I don't think there are going to be things we've seen outside. Yeah, Snake Gura.
He missed, but he still hit for five damage with it. And they get, dropped a mine berry. I believe every enemy has a different potential drop they can give you. Here's one that's not afraid, although it almost seemed like he was trying to run away from me. I think he just didn't notice me yet. Okay, these are bear fonts. Elephant bear, I guess. Okay, they do quite a bit of damage. And that one took me more than two hits, or more than one hit. But 17 experience, 25 rubies, so we get another level up to nine. And they direct a hamburger. I think a hamburger is just the upgrade for your healing items, so it's better than a candy bar. Yeah, instead of your hit points a little, some of your hit points. And I believe, as far as inventory goes, this is all we have. So at some point here, yeah, I guess I'll just use some candy bars to clear out some space. Kind of keep swiveling the camera while I go, just to make sure I don't miss a, a treasure hidden in a corner or a doorway. And I'll try to fight some more of these guys, just so we can see the different enemies or more of the different enemies, and just level up a little bit, too. It's not exactly a huge dungeon, but there are going to be some places where you can branch off in different ways, and there are going to be some treasures in here. I think there's at least like five or six treasure chests in this place. So I'll try to find them all. I kind of wonder, is that baby safe, and how far did it make it into the cave? Haven't seen it yet. Just because I have so many and just to be safe. Go ahead and use a candy bar. That didn't even get him up to full HP, so yeah, they're not that great. Okay, there's a ledge here. We can't get up there from here. Oh, come on. I'll go for your friend then. Or I'll get the treasure first. Okay, well, just another candy bar. Okay, well, that also easily caught, I guess. Yeah, I mean, usually if you can get them against a wall or something or a tree, that's the easiest way to get them. Of course. They're a critical hit. I think that's why the red number shows up, too. Okay, pretty sure this is my only only choice here. Still only seen two kinds of enemies in here, I think. And still. There might be more options as you get further in though, so maybe. Earlier on, the enemies are all the same. Although I doubt it. It's probably... Probably the whole cave has the same... Eh. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, there's one that's not running. Although I didn't run into that one anyway.
Okay, I do have two choices here. I think this is just a ledge above where I was before. Okay. Got a cool toy. You got a bronze shield, so there were two of them in there. Um, kind of thinking that the other room I went past was like just a dead end room with a treasure, maybe. Let me go back quick for that. Mostly the enemies are going to run away from me anyway, so it's pretty easy to get around in here. Okay, yeah, I was right. And a mysterious toy. We're still getting more toys. They're all labeled something different. Actually, though, I should probably equip that shield, too. So 54 up to 56 for defense. And that's something I can just get rid of the wood shield and throw it away if I end up running out of inventory room. If I don't, I'll keep it and I'll just sell it next time I get a chance to go to a shop. Let's see what this guy is. Yeah, that's just two of these guys. I guess two of them together is strong enough that it considers it to be a tougher enemy group. And up to level 10. And they each dropped a hamburger. each. Build the same guys, though. Probably should have gone for the era font or whatever it is first. Because he's probably going to hit me for more damage. But that's alright. Still not in any danger of getting wiped out or anything like that. Looks like two choices for which way to go here. Go ahead and fight one of these guys, still looking for some different enemies. take this route first because I think the left ray the left side was the right way to go it's been a few years since I played it but I think that's right then again I could be thinking of a different dungeon too not that I needed it but just to make sure I have an empty slot in my inventory Actually, I think that's the way I need to go. So let's backtrack and check out the other way first. And we'll find out what those weird little guys are. Is that going to be an enemy fight, or what are we going to do there? Okay, now there aren't walls here. We have a deep pit.
Build the same enemies? Nope, finally got some different ones here. Bat Bat and a Blue Boy. I think the Blue Boys are actually fairly tough as far as they have high HP and stuff. And he used power up. I imagine that's going to increase his attack. Yeah, 24. That's not nothing. I think I'm safe to attack one more time and then I'll heal. Okay, we got him. Probably a good, try, uh, good chance to use a hamburger, though. Yeah, still about the same on experience and rubies. But at least we saw a couple of different enemies finally. We should go find the baby. I don't say. Actually. Let's just use two candy bars. Save my better stuff for later. Bridge. Now let's go into the room here first. Okay. And a bronze sword. And it looks like there's a path there, kind of, but it's blocked off. How much is that going to help me? Okay, just an increase of, an, of two for attack. Which, I mean, it could be the difference in a one-hit KO or having to go an extra turn against some of these enemies. Okay, and this is just a treasure over here. Another hamburger. I mean, personally, I don't know if I would trust candy bars and hamburgers that are just sitting in chests and dungeon caves like this, but maybe that's just me. Now let's go find those little guys over here again. This is the entrance to Kel. What business do you have here? We're looking for a pink monster. Have you seen it? Whisper, whisper. What should we do? Pink monster. That must be that little fat thing. Maybe we should take them to the elder. Good idea. Okay, I'll take them to the elder. You guys stay and keep watch. You can speak with the elder if you want to come, if you want, come this way. Okay. Now we're at Kel. There's like a, yeah, a little, a little town inside of the cave here. Which I guess the people of Orgo didn't know about. Or maybe these are the demons they were talking about. <laughs> they seem nice enough. Elder, these people, they're looking for the pink monster. Please, we've been all looking all over, if you know anything. Yes, we know about this pink monster you speak of. However, we will only tell you where it went if you do us a favor. Do we have a deal? I had a hunch he'd say that. Knight, what do you think? Please, we really need your help. A mush mare is terrorizing my peaceful tribe. It's in the storage room right now, eating up our supplies. Once it finishes all the food in there, it will come out to eat us. We need you to kill it. We have no choice, Knight. We have to help them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we are in Kel now, and they've asked us to defeat a mush mare in their storage room. Which is kind of like our first real boss of the game, I suppose. Or at least I think it will be. Or maybe it'll just be a pushover, right? 
Anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. So we'll pick up here next time and I'll explore Kel and we'll go find the Mushmere. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.